भी एक ऐसा कॉरिडोर है कि ये सारे पेशावर को टच कर इट एज प्रॉपर फीडर सिस्टम अटैच टू दिस कॉरिडोर Peshawar, the capital city of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, with a population of over 2.8 million. It has been an important trading town for centuries, and in the next 15 years, the population is expected to grow to 4.4 million people. The rapid population growth has a significant effect on economic growth, but it also causes several problems, such as high demand for housing, transport and basic urban services. Peshawar possesses a number of serious transportation problems, a high rate of private motor vehicle usage, poor quality of public transport services and a lack of basic pedestrian facilities. The magnitude of the problem is very big. We have around a population of 3 million uh, residents and about 3 million cars in the daytime. You are talking about catering to 60-70% of the people of Peshawar on a daily basis uh, and that's a very big thing for any city. The WHO ranked Peshawar as the second most polluted city across the globe. One of the main sources of air pollution, according to the study, is the use of ill-maintained vehicles. <laughs> प्राइवेट ट्रांसपोर्ट है सारी लोगों का रवैया बड़ा अजीब सा है बहुत बदतमीजी से बात करते हैं खासकर खातन के साथ बहुत बदतमीजी होती है With an increasing economy and a steady population growth, efficient mobility with public transport has become problematic and it also brings negative impact on safety and worst of all on the safety of women and children. Being a female advocate, a lawyer, a female female, 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 more than 70% of the trips in Peshawar are still made by private motor vehicles. For a city with more than 3 million inhabitants, Peshawar clearly needs a mass transit system. An efficient mobility needs to be provided. And this is the issue that a BRT project in Peshawar is trying to solve. So Peshawar needs a BRT system uh, that uh, needs to be implemented. As the provincial government has been in working around or uh, from a year with the Asian Development Bank uh, as its uh, uh, like a partner. The Asian Development Bank, with 50 years of experience in reducing poverty in Asia, has more than 20 years of partnership with Pakistan. The ADB is currently working with the government of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province to plan the very first mass transit system in Peshawar in the form of BRT. Uh, what we are doing is also to bring in some ideas. So we looked on the uh, technical side, at the feasibility, the pre-design, the detailed engineering that is now being developed. Uh, but we also look at the institutional aspects. Peshawar's BRT corridor will be 30 kilometers long. With 4 kilometers elevated and a few underpasses totaling 3.5 kilometers, 31 BRT stations will be constructed to carry all the demand. The BRT corridor starts from Chamkani, and at Hayatabad. It goes along the GT road Pass key locations such as General Bus Stand and Hashtnagri. The corridor will also pass a busy hospital road and Kisahoni. 
from Swikarnochok, the corridor will be elevated to railway road, crossing Peshawar railway station before going back at grade at Sadar Road. After Sadar, BRT will continue to pass Aman Chok, University, Board Bus Stop and goes into an elevated BRT-only bridge above a dried-up riverbank before the Babi Peshawar Marco Polo Bridge until it joins the Habib Jalib Road towards Tatara Park and goes to PDA House. This main road is touching it, all the hospitals are touching it. Through the heart of the city, so this is a very feasible project. It has a proper feeder system attached to this corridor. We are talking about 30 bus stops on the corridor and we are talking about another 100 bus stops on the feeder routes. One of the unique features in Peshawar BRT is its operational model called direct service. This model allows BRT buses to run along inside the BRT corridor and also beyond the corridor. It's very innovative. It's a system which has never been implemented in Pakistan so far because it's a system which provides direct service to uh, the passengers. Basically, the buses will go inside the corridor but will also be allowed to go outside the corridor in mixed traffic. Direct service BRT also minimizes transfer between trunk and the feeder service. This increases coverage of the BRT service without the need to build another physical infrastructure. With eight BRT routes planned, Peshawar BRT is expected to carry more than 450,000 daily passengers. Low-density areas will be served by the BRT routes, which will cover up to 80 kilometers of road. To make the direct service system more effective, the existing public transport route has to be part of the BRT system. I am happy that we have a good transport for our people. But I am happy that we have to share our transport. To increase the bus travel speed along the BRT corridor, Peshawar's BRT will be built with a full segregated lane and a passing lane at stations. In this speed of travel or commute, it will ensure the ease of commute. The BRT station for Peshawar has few key design features. It's high capacity, wide and comfortable, weather protected and universally accessible design will create modern image for public transportation in Peshawar. For mass transit to be effective, passengers must be able to walk safely between transit stops and their surrounding areas. One of the critical components needed for the BRT is safe and universal access. Stairs, an elevator, an escalator and a special gate for wheelchair access will be provided in most BRT stations in Peshawar. Peshawar's BRT project offers more comprehensive features than other BRT projects in Pakistan. Many innovations and new ideas are introduced as part of the BRT project, which includes bicycle lanes along the BRT corridor. Cycle lane networks integrated with the BRT corridor will be built to provide a full set of sustainable travel options and enhance safety. Bicycle parking is also provided at BRT stations to allow customers to use bicycles as their first or last mile connectivity to the BRT. With more options for accessing the BRT, more time can be saved by users. Lastly, a continuous walkway and cycle lane will be built to connect pedestrians along the corridor, underneath the elevated BRT section. 
the BRT will cover facade to facade full corridor restructuring. It includes relocation of utilities, improvement of the drainage system, walking and cycling facilities, parking and frontage. Well, this BRT will definitely transform uh, one of the Peshawar's main corridor because we will restructure the entire corridor from one facade to another one. We are giving the whole city a system that we are giving a pedal to the people who are also able to reach everyone from this point. As Peshawar is expected to have more growth in the future, there will be more trips made within the city. And I have a full belief that the Peshawar and the Peshawar and the Shahri will be happy to say it. The BRT as an innovative mass transit system will create more efficient mobility in Peshawar while offering significant environmental benefits. For the city of Peshawar, the BRT will be the solution to their mobility problems.